let me consider this is the system for this system I must have a clock signal followed by input signal let me consider input underscore x one more input signal input underscore y I must have an angle declared so I am consider this to be at the angle for this input signal I am going to consider with respect to 16 bit so I will be taking 15 down to 0 similarly for y2 15 down to 0 followed by the angle this will be of 32 bit so I am considering 31 down to 0 so this is my internal part so input circuitry for which the output that I will be generating will be a cause cost signal which will be of 32 bit sorry which will have 16 bit and a sign signal again which will have 16 bit so 15 down to 0 followed by this 2 as 15 down to 0 so this will be acting as my DUT DUT nothing but design under test when a design is being tested or verified we call it as DUT now the question is whatever the input I am going to give here this is going to get computed and produce the output here for example if I need to generate a test vectors because I need to verify whether the design is good or not I can make it more accurate by providing more and more test vectors and this is possible with respect to test bench input and output ports of the design are the one through which the design interacts with the external world or its surrounding block now I need to design a code which will build around this DUT that will make use of the input and output ports to drive output from the DOT and verify its functionality that's what we call it as test bench right so I must design a virtual environment from here through this in such a way that this will be acting as my test bench now if you could observe here these are the test input vectors I will be giving here and it is going to get the test output vectors getting here if you could observe with respect to test bench the output of this system will be acting as input to this test bench system and the input of this system will acting as output of this test bench that is what right the output of this system if this is the DUT the output of this DUT will act as an input to the test bench and the input of this DUT will actually will be the output of this test bench so generally a design will have multiple input and output combinations a test bench is always constructed such that it generates at a certain required scenario and valid output since I am talking with respect to test cases I can generate multiple number of test cases here for which the input will be acting here I can generate multiple number of test cases here I can do generate multiple number of test cases here let's start designing it in Verilog